Today is the time for learning Dal, Zal, Ra, Za, Seen and Sheen. But before that, watch the videos in the playlist given in the top right corner to know about the writings of first seven letters. If you haven't, but if you have, I hope you practiced it as well. Only learning is not gonna help. Remember the principle I talked about in the first video? If you do, mention its name in the comment section. I hope you applied that principle into your lives. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Art Bimble, where I provide you with art related tips and tricks, some art stories to make your art journey easier. Happy learning with Art Bimble. So, here we are with Dal, Zal, Ra, and Za. For Dal and Zal, we'll make three nuktas down. And now the first curve, that will be two nuktas down. And the second one is two and a half nuktas horizontally. Lower one, one plus one plus half and the upper one, one plus one. Check out the tip of first stroke. It's a slight curve and then making a downward stroke. Now without nuktas, that's freehand. Putting a nukta at the top, we'll get zol. There are other ways to write dal or zol, whatever you like. There are different types in Arabic calligraphy, like different fonts. So whatever you like in your art, do it. Now is the time for next two letters, ra and za. Reminds me of that Tara Rampam song. Moving on, this is the first stroke in Ra, it's one nukta in width and then you have to put two nuktas down, within the first nukta limit we have the first stroke and then making the second stroke, it's like making a slope, it's almost two nuktas horizontally. And then making the tip, which is almost one nukta. But you can extend the second stroke as per your requirements in your paintings. Now check out the free hand without nuktas. It's like also shown in different ways with different lengths of the last stroke. With Nukta's next letters are Sin and Shin. Make three horizontal Nukta's. We make the first stroke within the first Nukta limit down and up. I will elaborate it later on. Now the second stroke is one and a half nukta horizontally and then we have the third stroke. Finally the last one. One nukta here will give you the distance of third stroke from the second stroke. And this is one nukta wide. The last stroke is three to four nuktas in length. Put three nuktas on top and we have sheen. Now let me elaborate these strokes a little bit. For the first stroke we go down and then up. I'll mark these strokes first. Now this is the second stroke and the third one. Finally the fourth one. Check these directions, maybe this will also explain a bit. Down left left down left and curving it upwards now time for without noktas
Now let me show you some other ways to write it like other fonts and stuff. These will work pretty great for your paintings, scale graffiti, etc. Next letters are for next Saturday. Till then, practice these. All the best. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share with those who would want to learn. Till next time, Fiamanilla.